Welcome back to Security Onion Essentials. In this session, we are going to start the installation process for Security Onion. We'll download the ISO. We'll create a virtual machine with the required system resources. We'll load up that ISO and run through part one of the install, which is actually installing the operating system itself. In the next session, part two, we'll then run through the Security Onion setup. So let's go ahead and get started with part one. All right, so the best place to start when looking to download and install Security Onion is our website. If you go to securityonion.net, that is gonna redirect you to securityonionsolutions.com. And we can come over to software and download now. That will take us to the GitHub repository. Let me make this a little bigger for you. And now uh, we're going to download and verify the ISO image. So we'll start the download. Uh, it is a seven gig file. And so it's gonna take a little while to download. So I'm gonna pause the recording and go get myself a fresh cup of coffee and uh, be right back once it's done downloading. All right, and we're back. I've got a fresh, hot cup of coffee. The download has finished. And so uh, we're gonna follow the steps outlined here to uh, verify the ISO and make sure that uh, it hasn't been tampered in any way. So first off is download and import the signing key. We'll do that. I'll bring up my terminal and I'll paste that in here. Hit enter and looks good. So come back here, uh, download the signature file for the ISO, copy that, bring up my terminal, paste it, and looks like it downloaded fine. Final thing is to, uh, well, download the ISO image, which we've already done. And then final thing is to use GPG to verify the downloaded ISO using the signature file that we just downloaded. Now be clear, the output should show good signature and the primary key fingerprint should match what's shown below, which is the FE50-7013, okay? So uh, let's go and run that and make sure it all matches, excuse me, matches. And it's gonna take uh, just a minute to do this. All right, looks like it finished and we do have a good signature. We also have that fingerprint that ends in FE50-7013. If we come back here, that is, uh, that is what we needed. So that looks good. So the ISO image has been verified. So now if we come down here to the final link, once we've verified, we're now ready to proceed to our installation guide. So let's click on that. And again, make this a little bit bigger, a little bit easier for you to read. All right, so installation. Now, we, there are two ways to install Security Onion. You can use the ISO image uh, that we are using. And for most use cases, uh, using the ISO image is the quickest and easiest method. You can also use what's called the network install uh, method. And that would be installing uh, Ubuntu or CentOS and then uh, doing a git clone on our repository and running the setup script. Uh, now, to be clear, the setup script is exactly the same, whether it's on the ISO or on the network install. It's just how you prep the operating system. And that's this first step is we're going to uh, use the ISO to install CentOS 7. So if we look at our tasks here, uh, review the hardware requirements, which we'll do that. Uh, we've already downloaded and verified the ISO image and then we'll create the virtual machine. So let's look at the hardware requirements, and then we'll build a virtual machine that meets those hardware requirements. If we scroll down minimum specs. If we just want a, uh, if we just want to import a PCAP using SO import PCAP, then we can use these minimum specs, but that's not what we wanna do. For all other configurations, the minimum specs for running Security Onion version 2 are 12 gigs RAM, four CPU cores, and 200 gigs of storage. 
Now this is a pretty important note right here. These minimum specs are for eval mode with minimal services running. That's what we're going to be installing. These requirements may increase drastically as you enable more services, monitor more traffic, and consume more logs. For more information, please see the detailed sections below. So we're going to be running in eval mode with really minimal services and network traffic. So we're going to use the minimum specs listed here. However, if you're looking to move into production with Security Onion, please make sure you read through the production deployment section on our documentation here. Make sure that you size your grid appropriately. We want you to peel back those layers as quickly and efficiently as possible. And you're not going to be able to do that if you don't have the correctly sized hardware for your environment. So uh, for eval, let's go ahead and create a virtual machine on my local system here with these minimum specs. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to bring up a VMware Fusion. Now to be clear, uh, any mainstream hypervisor uh, should work, whether that's a VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion, VirtualBox, uh, they should all work just fine. Okay. So I'm going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to install from disk or image. I need to select the ISO that we just downloaded. Click continue. I'm going to select send OS 7. I'm going to leave the default here and click finish. And I'll just name this SO eval and click on save. Now, before we start this, oh, I did not want it to start automatically. We need to customize this. So let's go to settings. There's quite a few things we need to customize. First, for processors, we need four CPUs. And then for memory, we need 12 gigs of RAM. So we'll call that 12,300 megabytes of RAM. And we do need two uh, network adapters one for sniffing, one for management of the device. Then we need to change the hard drive to make sure I'm at 200 uh, gigs. Now, if I look at advanced, we, uh, we don't want to pre-allocate the disk space. Um, some people or some hypervisors would call this thin provisioning. So I'm going to thin provision this. And that should be it. At this point, we should be able to go ahead and start the virtual machine. And I'm going to select to install Security Onion 2.3. All right, I'll go ahead and make this a little bigger for us. All right, so installing the Security Onion ISO on this device will destroy all data and partitions. All data will be lost. That's fine. This is a fresh new virtual machine. Do you wish to continue? Type the entire word yes to proceed. A new administrative user will be created. This user will be used for setting up and administrating Security Onion. Enter an administrative username. Now, to be clear, this is not the username for the Security Onion console. This is the user for CentOS 7 for the underlying operating system. So we'll just say analyst and we'll set a password for it. And that's it. So it's going to take a few minutes to install CentOS 7 uh, and then it's going to ask us to restart. So um, I'll come back. I'll go ahead and pause this and come back once it is installed. All right, and we're back. So that didn't take too long. We see that the final screen here, the initial install complete, press enter to reboot. So I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, as a reboot, so the, the process here again is we run through uh, part one of the install, which is uh, installing CentOS 7. Then uh, the next step is once we log in after this reboot, the Security Onion setup itself will launch and will run through that part of the setup. We will cover that part in Security Onion Essentials Installation Part 2. See you then.